In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Fides Dragonfly BMS on a Ender 3 Pro, coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing, with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest videos in your YouTube alerts. And thanks for being here. So like mentioned, today I'm going to install the Fides Dragonfly BMS on my Ender 3 Pro. I'm going to show you how you can install this Dragonfly hot end onto the Ender 3 Pro. So this is sended by Fides as a, as a free a free product to also to do a review about but that one I will leave for a other video as well because I have some other things to do besides making videos for 3d printing like normal full-time J job and for that reason I want to do a full review on the hot end itself make some comparison with previous prints that I got out of the all metal hot end from micro swiss but now it's going to be exchanged for this one i will put a link in the description where you can buy the fetus dragonfly hot end for your bms or your bmo 3d printer so in the package there is the hot end with the silicon sock on it so this is the hot end it's a very nice looking also, I like the color blue, metal blue, because I already installed it on the ANET ET4. For that reason, I already have attached the nozzle onto the hot end. But further, you got a very clear instruction manual with everything you need to know in there. And you have also a little bag with some accessories. So the two spanners, Allen keys, two screws to tighten, to mount the hot end, two little screws and a clip. And also the back with thermal grease, thermal grease. So let's go to the installation of the hot end. So I took the French route, I took it off. Normally, if you have a normal and the three, you have here a metal cover with the two fans on. So this is the micro Swiss all metal hot end. I have to make sure that the filament is also away from the hot end. So filament is removed. We are going to remove the PTFE tube. Push. Be careful, of course. Now we are going to Loosen the hot end just a little bit. Now we are going to remove the sock. Be careful, it's still hot. And there you have it removed. So to make, make our jobs a little bit easier, we are also going to unscrew the jack screws or the grub screws. Yeah, that one is loose. The other one as well. Doesn't really matter. You have to unscrew the whole screw, making sure that you can get to the thermistor. Then we pull that one out. That part is done. So here is the, the part of the uh, thermistor. So we are going to unscrew the hot end now. So I took the zip tie from this part off, I pulled a little bit more on the wire from the thermistor, making sure that I have more length so that I can put the little glass bulb into the brass tube, which came in the uh, accessory kit. And then I took a new zip tie and put it there, making sure that it is all nice and tight. Make sure to have a little cleaning rack or some other tissue you can use 
when you are going to insert it because the thermal grease that is in this package is getting very smishy on your hands or I don't know how you would call it. You get some little gray hands. First you put in the thermistor and the heater cartridge as well. I have installed the thermistor into the brass tube. Make sure when you are going to do that to apply the thermal grease which is provided in the accessory kit. Then if you have done that then you put the heater cartridge and the brass tube inside of the heater block and then tighten the two jack screws which are underneath the heater block. Then you are going to install the hot end to the carriage from the and the three pro in this case and then you tighten the screws all the way down so now we are going to hot tighten the nozzle to your heater block to do that heat up your ender until a temperature of 285 degrees which is stated in the instruction manual i have it to the 210 degrees because i think that is that is also well enough take the spanner and take a and take a wrench to fit over your nozzle so and it is tight now that is done we turn off the printer because the heat will stay there for a little while and you can also hear me better in the meantime that the hot end is still hot you can also tighten the two jack screws as well one So those two are also done. So once the hot end is cooled down, we are going to put the silicon sock back to uh, the place and we are going to install the bracket with the fans back to the carriage. So, and the installation is done. When you are going to buy the Dragonfly hot end from Fetus, I will put the link in the description of this video Make sure that when you are going to buy this and install it that you follow also the instruction whether it is from this video or from the instruction itself when you are going to install it make sure that you are going to put the thermistor in the brass tube and then applying the thermal grease which is also in the same package when you are going to install the heater cartridge and the brass tube into the heater block Make sure that the grip screws or the jack screws are tightened well enough and make sure that the thermistor doesn't flip out when you are going to tighten it. After that, heat up your heater block and also hot tighten your nozzle on the right way. The temperature on the instruction says 285 degrees, but I think 210, 220 or 230 is also well enough. Next time, I will do a video about the review from this Fetus Dragonfly Hot End. This video is supported by these patron supporters, Tony, Shannon, Lawyer Moses and Michael. Thank you for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by becoming a patron for this channel. I will put the link in the description of this video. If you're still watching this video, thank you, you are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. While you are there, maybe to check out the merch store to support this channel as well. Please like this video, share this video with other people, and hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakuri 3D Prince. Bye-bye.